Hello and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. Let ourselves translate expert knowledge. Forgive my foul mouth Friday, but I was fucking all over the place for the last week. It's all over the country. Hey, they saw you. <laughs> so I am coming back with a little bit of what's up with that? Talking about sick people getting all bent out of shape. That they can't eat. They can't get up. They can't jump out of the bed. They can't take a shower. They can't go take a quick smoke. They can't call Alan or Robert or all these other people in their room that they're talking to and making plans with that aren't there. There's a visitation policy. Excuse me, you have to tell your hallucinations to come one at a time, okay? And only between the hours of 7.30 and 9.30 p.m. and 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So tell them all one at a time, okay? Okay? It's crazy. These people, uh, uh, it's, it, the word loses its meaning after a while because the level of normalcy, it comes to uh, just talking with someone who can't talk to you. Like, there's no eyes opening. There's just, there's just, uh, talk about, talk about, what's up, 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 all day all day and that's right i didn't say this was once i said this is becoming a cliche of meth out heroin out addicts who are coming in with encephalopathy all of a sudden too it's been like a half dozen to dozen or so in this spot people are saying it's the stimulus checks Fucking idiots didn't put it in the GME. They went and shot it right up into their bodies. And this is it. This is a week or two of dilapidation. And you know, when you start thinking of the weeks of dilapidation at home, you really get your brain cooking as to why you see a certain person be a patient at least once a month. You see it because it's paid for. What, three out of every 30 days or something are paid for by Medicare? So you start to really wonder, what are these other 27, 26 days like? Where they're not at the hospital getting their 60 medications every four hours with a liter of water each medication. What happened? They just don't take them. Or they have somebody who half-asses it. They don't have a nurse who's been trained to babysit do a daycare for these adults who just can't keep their shit together. There's no real offense to them, but there's too many sh fucking things to do that this doctor, when prescribing one on top of the other medication, did not prepare you for. They didn't even talk about activities of daily living and your routine and the importance of not becoming dependent on benzodiazepines for treatment of your nervous reactions to the life that you've decided to live. The worst part is after you come off of these benzodiazepines particularly, you have worse nervous breakdowns than you've ever had because the things that made you nervous didn't get addressed. Even with this wonderful calm time of the benzodiazepine muting your central nervous system. You know why the addressing of those nervous issues didn't happen? Because you didn't care. You took the drugs to mute the nervous reaction that made you care. And this outsourcing of care, we're not getting paid enough. Nobody should be paid to care an inordinately more, a, a greater portion than the person who is being cared for. I know there may be this adage or this mindset, that's what you signed up for, is making vegetables, turn water, and feeding my grandma because I want to keep her alive so I can wave at her with my little finger through the FaceTime every other day. I don't understand that mentality for your mom, not just for me. Because I could be weird and crazy and say, yeah, it's job security. You're right. And they're not hard to take care of. They don't do much when they don't move. It's not a very active daily life as a vegetable. So it should be something as a person who is benefiting monetarily of more vegetables would say, yeah, I love vegetables. This is great. But it's not because the caring has reached a tipping point to where once you have enough money, you don't really want to lie anymore to these people. 
that what we're doing is anything more than prolonging life support. And caring is separate from that. Because we try to care and our hands are tied. We'd like to put them in a place where we can see a level of satisfaction. It's hard to tell what a vegetative, incapacitated, sedated patient's HCAP score is. I don't know how satisfied they are with their consumer experience here in the hospital. And you know, I don't think it really plays a part because they don't get surveyed. What am I saying? Well, I think the ship has sailed. Caring has not been something nurtured in the activities of daily life in the daily normal American. Self-care, at least in this aging boomer population, like 60 to 70 to 80 years old, they weren't taught to take care of themselves in a way that is anything more than eating their Wheaties in the morning and maybe going on a run. That's their idea of health care or exercise is running. Just go straight to running. They don't know about hormones. They don't know about anything that comes to supplementation of the body. They like to hear, what's one good pill I could take? Give me the, give me the fuck it all, please. That's what I want to take. And ugh, it's not going to work out. So this video is really not to those people because the ship again has sailed they've decided to outsource their caring to a group of people they think can fix them with a magical bed but it's the kids to tell them tell you there's when we say there's nothing more that can be done and they're going to be on a ventilator they're not responding try to use your intuition and search your feelings because yeah, sometimes things happen. Things happen weirdly, and people can jump back out of comas, out of specific brain insults, and they can wake up after some sort of medication has left their body or some weird nervous reaction that we don't quite know about. But if they've been flaccid for weeks, months, and they haven't moved, there's nothing changing with that, you want to ask yourself, how long, how far are you willing to take this? Because the answer with the hospital side is all the way. We'll create a vegetable out of your family and send it back to you. Or through this skilled nursing facility or a long-term acute care facility where we can keep them, even on a ventilator, surviving the tube feeds. Because if you can survive this tube feeding through your stomach, because they got to put a hole directly into your belly after they put a hole in your neck, because you're not breathing through your mouth, and that is not a good look for anybody for very long. <sighs> Do you want that? Do your parents want that? Forgive my foul mouth, but fuck no! Love you guys.